Hi guys, Phil from T1G. Uh, we're out here today zeroing SIDS M4. SIDS chosen to go with a 50 meter zero, which is a good zero. Uh, it works out really well for the trajectory out to about 250 meters. Uh, he could go with a 25 meter zero, a 36, 50, or 100. It really doesn't matter what zero he chooses as long as he understands the trajectory of his round uh, at any given distance. Um, some of the advantages to the 50 meter zero are that it's a very flat trajectory. It's never more than about two and a half inches above or below his line of sight out to about 250 meters. So it takes out the need to really know the exact range out to about 250. Uh, a lot of units will prefer to go with a 25 meter zero which is a, a good zero as long as you understand the trajectory of your round and where your round is going to be at any given distance. Going out of a standard M4 with a 14 and a half inch barrel um, at 2950 feet per second muzzle velocity, 25 meter zero, you're going to have a max ordnance of about 10 inches at 180 meters, meaning that your round is going to be about 10 inches above your line of sight at about 180 meters, which is fine as long as you know that and you know the distance you're shooting at. Uh, with a 50 meter zero, uh, the difference is going to be that we're never more than two and a half inches above or below our line of sight out to about 250. So for a lot of guys, they prefer that because it does give them the advantage of not having to worry so much about range all the way to 250. Um, other units will prefer a 100 meter zero because they know they're only going to work within zero and 100 meters. So they want a very flat trajectory out to 100 and they're not worried about what's beyond that. So for them, it works out well. So whatever distance you choose to zero your gun at, it works for, for any system as long as you know the trajectory of that round. Alright guys, that's it on trajectory. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and we'll get back to you.